Welcome back, everyone, to click the screen. So welcome, what? Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Today, well, we're going through one of my other most favorite zones of all time, the Metropolis Zone. I mean, just listen to that kick and beat. Those starfish that explode and hit me a lot usually. Now, this zone has a lot of different quirks to it, these guys being definitely one of them. Buttons that will cause those things to appear, these weird steam jumps, that crab guy that I don't like, tails screwing up the platform, okay. Uh, yeah, I like this zone and all, but um, I die a lot here, so get ready to see that. Also, that weird crushy looking thing that we passed by that looks like it could kill us instantly? Yeah, it, it can kill us instantly. Oh, and this praying mantis guy. I hate those praying mantis guys. Oh, jeez! Okay, now, interesting thing about these is that they go in a clockwise motion. Or I think some actually can go counterclockwise. I don't remember exactly. I hate these praying mantises. Oh, and uh, there's this weird nut thing that if you go right it goes up, and if you go left it goes down. Don't go right on that one. <laughs> okay, so just go ahead and spin, get hit by a star, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Actually, I kind of want to do this. Bye, Tails! <laughs> eh, that was killing me. That was for killing me last time. Now, this one is always a pain in the neck to get onto, so... It never works out too long. And Tails is about to get smashed again. Except he didn't. Ow. But I sure got clubbed by that uh, crab dude. I like to call him Kingler because he reminds me of Kingler who's gone. Huh. That's weird. Of course, I didn't call him that when I was a kid. I think I just called him that crab guy. Because uh, I didn't play Pokemon until I was like 13. So... But I've talked enough about that during my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon LP, so we'll just go on up this screw nut thing up here, dodge the Praying Mantis, hit the invincibility. Now, I don't believe being invincible will save you from getting crushed to death, so don't do it! Just try not to do it and uh, I always do that with that stupid one. Okay, to regenerate that one, you just need to go up here and then over here. Should be back. There we go. Whoa! I hate these star. I hate these starfish. I hate them so much. They are the bane of my existence. Can I maybe just go up here? Let's let's do that. It sounds like it's safer and easier. Well, maybe not easier, but it is safer. And we just go right up here and are able to go up this nut. Huh. Okay. Well, don't want to head up into the wall. Now, sometimes Tails can also run into the nut in the opposite direction you're going, continue running, and just do that for a while. And you don't go anywhere until you, like, jump and make him go in the correct direction or just get off the bloody thing. Alright, uh, hello person signing into Messenger. How's it going today? These things are readapted in Sonic 3 somewhere. I'll talk about where later. Um, whoa. Okay. Just make sure it's not on the left when you jump onto it. And I just got killed there. Um, oh jeez. Those things never activate when I'm on this thing. I don't know why. Whoa, hey. Kill that praying mantis. <sighs> wow, that that the game was trying to kill me there. Like actively. Um, I don't understand what the point of that was. So let's just go down here. Whoa! Okay. That that was insanity. Um, is this an endless corridor of death? Why do you have that? How does that even exist? Granted, it does happen in Sonic 1. It's kind of like that time in the uh, Labyrinth Zone Act 3. Or is it Scrap Brain Zone Act 3? 
I don't remember. Anyway, we got through Act 1 of the Metropolis Zone, so let's head through Zone 2. Wait, what? Act 2. Um, now with more jelly lava. At least that's all. Actually, it looks kind of like spaghetti sauce. But not really spaghetti sauce. I, I don't know how to describe it. Wow, he have a pretty good uh, high score there. 177,000! I usually react pretty well when I'm faced with that specific crab guy. Not when I'm faced with him, though. I do remember doing that quite a lot when I was a kid. Ow. Alright. Just, uh, ride this gear down in here. Hit that shield, because I really want it. And don't fall into the insta-death lava, except it's not insta-death. Lucky us. Alright. Ba -ba -ba. God, I love this music. <laughs> I can't get over how much I love it. Don't activate the stars! Hmm, okay. Also, as you saw earlier, those steam things will hurt you. These things are a little bit of an homage, I think, to, uh... How do you get that? You know, I've never gotten that invincibility. I wonder if I can, like, go through the wall or something. Yeah, you can. Okay, well, now I know. Anyway, this thing is like an homage to, uh, freaking That one zone, Labyrinth. This whole zone kind of gives me that kind of feel to it. Can't say I know why. Also, that mantis just kind of disappeared. Weird. Alright, well, let's just go over here, and I'm right back where we were earlier, aren't I? Can I go through here? Ooh, I can. Ow. That would have been really cool if I had actually landed on the stupid nut and got, like, tons of rings out of that. But I did not, and I usually don't, so, you know. I'm pretty bad at getting opportunities like that and doing stuff like that. Well, I'm pretty good at doing stuff like that, but that makes me bad at the game, <laughs> so. Tails is invincible as usual. Alright, now, I hate this jump. Okay. Okay, we hit the checkpoint, so dying now isn't too big a consequence, though I'd still rather not. Little tube thingy. I believe those are in Sonic 3 as well. Yeah, 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 I know exactly what zone they're in too. Well, technically they're only in Sonic and Knuckles, but they are in Sonic 3 and Knuckles because it's just a fusion of the two games. But, this star is gonna kill me! Except it didn't. Haha! -ha. Whoa. Oh, good job, Tails. Interesting thing with those guys is that their sickles will just kinda stop flying if you hit them. It's pretty weird. Go right up here. Dude, stop signing out and signing in. It's kind of annoying. I should sign off MSN or something. I should, but I don't. I mean, I've said it multiple times, I think, during LPs now when that's happened. And it will never happen, so... Don't know why I keep saying it to myself. Just hit that, go up here, dodge that star. There we go. This guy is gonna kill me. Oh my god, that that was uh, excellently timed there. I don't know how I did it, and I quite frankly don't want to try it again. Huh, okay, so if you just ride it, it doesn't just automatically take you through the thing. I hate these mantis guys. Okay. So if this, uh, um, weird platform thingy, I, I honestly have no idea what the, what, like, um, equate it to. So, I'm just gonna go with this thing and then totally muff it. How do you what? Ugh, okay. Maybe if I, like, yeah, okay. Hold left while you're doing that and you'll jump right off the wall. Huh. That, that was not exactly what I was intending to do. Now, normally this would be, well, that's all for this episode of Let's Play Sonic 2, but it's not! Because Metropolis Zone has three acts. So let's get on right to it. And at the end of this act, of course, is, well, a boss. Oh, is this this thing? Yeah, it is. I hate that thing. Um, can I just ignore the fact that it exists? I guess I can. Just jump down here, go on this crazy looking gear thingy, and that doesn't actually leave me anywhere. 
Well, it was a nice try. Oh, I think I can get on top of this one if I just, uh, if I just get this time correctly. There we go. Okay. Not getting any time awards for this level, that's for sure. But that's alright, I've never been much of a speedrunner of anything ever, so... Oh, now I have no rings and I gotta still fight that crab guy, and now I'm dead. <sighs> okay, so the... this... this... this platform thing, um... Never really understood how to, like, get through it. Just kind of... Go over here and then jump over here and then it resets its position. Uh, Okay, so, let's try and get through this crab guy in the best way I know how. That, that wasn't it. That was not at all what I wanted to do, actually. And I got killed by the steam again. That's, that's something. Okay. One more time, let's, let's do it. We know what to do now. First, we need to get hit by this mantis. That is, that is key to my plan. Okay, let's just jump onto this. There we go. Alright, now, um, I have no idea how to get past this crab. Maybe if I just, like, bait him. Bait him over until he despawns, maybe? I don't know. That could work. Except it didn't. And now he's shooting his claw out. Okay. Um, hmm. Not sure what to do. Well, we could... Yeah, okay. Got past him. Just gotta wait like 30 seconds and he'll eventually go away. Alright, now, these gears. Also note that we still haven't had a checkpoint, and if you go between those two gears, I'm pretty sure that's instant death. So it's getting smashed by this, either going under it or over it, so don't do that. Spikes up there because the game's a jerk. Well, okay. Go, 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 go. With Tails and Sonic both at the same time. I can usually get up that shaft, no problem. And then do something stupid like that. Oh, that's no problem. It was part of my ingenious... Ow? Huh. Somehow I hit the spikes that time. Not sure how that happened. I'm also not sure how to get this thing back. Okay, maybe if I go back across this thing? Okay, that, that should be far enough. It's kind of hard to tell when these things are going to respawn, but... Just jump off. Ah. Dang it. Don't jump off into the. Oh my god. Why has this become so difficult suddenly? Alright. Well, now we don't have any starfish to worry about, so I just need to go up nice and easy until. Until. This was a lot faster when Tails was doing it with me. Whew. Okay. Um. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Spikes everywhere. Okay. No problem. Don't get squashed by those. Don't get squashed by that either. Ah, uh, no, you can't. That's good. That would have been a pretty jerk thing to do. Let's just roll upside down. That's pretty cool. Alright. I don't think we're anywhere close to the boss either. That kind of depresses me to know that. I think that platform will fall if you wait too long, so... Um, move? I mean, that's just kind of the thing you do in a Sonic game. You constantly are on the moon, because you're Sonic the freaking Hedgehog. Just run across those, all helter-skelter. Ah! I hate these mantises. Mantises? Manti? Oh yeah, right, this, this thing. This thing, it's kind of annoying to get up, but I did it. Wait for it to go once. There we go. Um, can I, like, get on top of that? Yes, I can. If I can get on top of it. Just wait for that one to go. Wait for that one to go. One more. Alright, we're good. And up. And we're through. Piece of cake. Nothing to it. We should be coming up on another check. Don't get squashed by that! Oh my god. How do I get up this stupid thing? Okay, um... Oh, well, that works too. How am I supposed to know there's a spring there without tails falling into it? 
Oh, oh geez. Well, luckily they're going in the opposite direction, so... It's pretty hard to get squished by that. I'm uh, sure it's possible. Also, that crab can't turn around, thankfully. If he could, I'd be in trouble. This mantis guy likes to hang out on the ceiling. He's pretty weird. Okay. Tails, I'm gonna need your help on this one. Oh, jeez. Okay. Tails, I'm gonna need your help on this one. Let's go... Up, up and away to adventure. Go so fast that those things can't even respond in time. There was no way I was not getting hit by that. Or that. Okay, well, now one hit kills me, so let's hope there aren't too many of those guys. Oh, shoot! That, that was dangerously close. Oh, hey, this platform and that checkpoint can mean only one thing. Ladies and gentlemen, the boss of the Metropolis Zone. Now, this is where me and my brother would cheap this guy out and just throw tails at him all the time. But, uh, I don't have that luxury, so I'm just gonna try and briskly hit him as many times as possible. Now, um, there's a trick to this guy, and I've never figured out exactly what it is. Other than just to try and jump on him randomly sometimes and it'll work. Whoa, okay. Oh, that's right. He evens out at a certain point, so... Now, there is a way to get him trapped in a pattern of just doing that. Like, you can hit him from underneath constantly. But I've only ever been able to safely do it with someone actually playing as Tails, so... Um, on top of that, I have no rings right now, so I kind of don't want to do anything stupid. I'm sure I could spin dash him right now if I wanted to. But yeah, each hit will cause one of his balloons to fly off, and the pattern starts anew. I'm sure I could hit him safely at this point, but I really don't want to try. Because I really don't want to go through all this again. Whoa! Don't get too close. Just take it nice and easy. Alright, he has only one left. So, this should be easy. Okay, now the fun part. He throws lasers! I usually get killed doing that. And that is the end of the very long Metropolis zone. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I just remember what's next. I think the next episode will be the FNAF. Oh, I just remember there's actually one more zone after that. So, join me next time when we take to the skies and finally take down Robotnik once and for all. Or will we? Until then, later guys.